on my roof getting ready to darn a sock. Um, so I don't have to darn my socks on the roof, but it's like in the 60s today and it's been really cold recently and this might be the last day it gets in the 60s for a while, so I want to take advantage of it. So I have this sock with a hole in the heel and so I'm gonna darn it. I've only ever darned one other sock. I was actually happy to see when I got a hole in it because I was like great this gives me a chance to darn <laughs> and to get some more practice. So I was trying to decide whether to use a matching color or a contrasting color and at the last minute I decided to go with the matching color now I'm regretting it just a little bit because it would be easier to show the darning if it was a contrasting color, but it's fine. And then I also have this bottle of ibuprofen, not because I have a headache, but because I'm going to use it in place of a darning egg or a darning mushroom. And so what that does, let me show you, is you put it here just to make it easier to do the darning to kind of like keep it in place so you can see the hole and it also gives you something to grab onto um, and I would like to get a darning egg or darning mushroom and I almost ordered one on Etsy but that's the kind of thing that I feel like I just need to like come across in my life like I don't feel like I can seek it out too much like I feel like I'll be at like a antique store in Vermont and then see like a cool one and get it or like find it in someone's grandma's attic. And now I'm using this tapestry needle. This isn't technically a darning needle, but I think it's fairly close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some stitches across here, go across the hole, go all along here, and then I'm gonna do some stitches across here and then weave it through from the other side. What's nice though about doing the matching color is that I just can't really, you're just not gonna like see my mistakes <laughs> so much. I'll be weaving it through from the opposite direction. I really am wishing it was contrasting because it would actually help me as someone who hasn't done this very much. It would help me to like see it better.
So there's a kind of a big gap right here. I think I'm gonna go back, do some stitches back here and go across here. Okay. I think that's fine. So here it is from the inside. Now here it is from the outside. And now I can't stick my fingers through it. I think I need to do it a little tighter next time, but I'm learning. And maybe I might need to get a better needle. The tapestry needle might be a bit too big, and that might be why it's hard to get it tighter. But anyway, it was fun. Yeah. Next time you get a hole in your sock, instead of throwing it out, you can try and darn it. Like and subscribe, I'll be back soon. Thank you.